Hello guys, this is again Paul Veloskorov with you and we're continuing to create our learning management system. This is video number 10 already, I'm quite surprised by that, but uh, I hope that by the end of this week, so in three or four more videos, I will actually put the content on GitHub, put the code, and then you can download it and use it for yourself. Uh, today's topic is actually registering for the course, meaning uh, login or registering and then purchasing via Stripe and then accessing the lessons or restricting the access for, uh, for free users. So here I am in the page of our course and this button by course current, currently redirects to register. That We've done that previous lesson. But what if I'm already logged in user? I mean, I've re I'm registered user, but uh, so I don't need to register. I just need to log in. So here I would add um, in register form. I would add a button like register, and then maybe let's put it this way. Like this one four. login or I'll put it this way existing user login here and route should be of login from what I remember okay hmm, no I guess it should be even smaller all right okay um let's put it just in line here not really happy with that but let's stick to that so then the person would go to login uh, and then we we are back and now we have to check if the user is actually logged in if he is logged in then then that button should actually take to the payment page or payment model window instead of registering so let's open our course blade and here we have the buy course thing so let's put if of check else and if right so if we're not logged in we go to register if we are logged in then the route should be different um, it's actually it won't be the link anymore uh, I will copy the code from another project generated by quick admin so we have a stripe stripe session here stripe form let's copy that here and it will be a form with action for example, let's let's put the route here empty for now uh, and we we implement the JavaScript by Stripe. We will need the API key later. Data amount will be course price times 100. So it should be cents, not dollars. Currency is USD. Data name should be quick LMS. Then label pay course price uh, by course for actually let's stick to the old label by course and then description same here actually uh, no actually course course title I think it is right I think we're good and let's see if it actually works it doesn't throw any errors it doesn't throw any errors because I'm not logged in yet but uh, if I log in as as a student for now I will be redirected to admin panel which is wrong and we will fix it later but let's get back to our home page back to the course and that button is it's it even looks a little different don't you see it's it's a stripe button 
and we forgot this thing here door here uh, let's check if we have any JavaScript errors here in console no nothing nothing major and we do have the stripe the stripe window and here we will enter our email uh, credit card number and we will pay for the course so we see the form for the payment now let's take care of the back end for that how will it actually work uh, again I will copy some code from another project uh, first thing in composer JSON we need to have stripe PHP library so let's add that to composer JSON and let's run our composer great I think oh composer update difficult Monday for me right so here's our composer update finished with that we have updated the Laravel framework to 5.4.32 and I'll have Stripe PHP library now we have um, where was I? Course blade. We need to take care of this route. For example, course payment, and then in our routes, let's add. Um, <laughs> post course. And um, let's put it like here for the course. Actually, no, you course ID is enough for that. Um, no, actually, we will put the parameter in the post. Courses payment and courses payment. Right, and then we go to courses controller and right here payment. Delete that, and then we go back to my demo project where I can copy the code from. Um, so here I have something like this. For now it will be not working code, so I have a create start charge here. Create start charge is using the actually let's copy all function. It shouldn't be public, it should be what? It should be private. So private function create start charge request. Have a request here. Request. Um, okay, so we have a customer create and the charge customer and charge uh, are probably Stripe objects. So we have a charge and we have instead of 1999, we have request um, get. And get uh, payment amount. Let's put it this way. Okay, actually, this should be amount, and it represents this variable data amount. And for that to work, we need to import our stripe these things and to use. And that is not, uh, that doesn't throw errors anymore, uh, except for this, but that should work as well. So this function is actually creating the charge, the request. And for that, we need Stripe API key and also Stripe public API key. So let's go into our env file. No, not that. Dot env. And put here Stripe in. API key and also public stripe API key. I will get them from my testing environment in Stripe. 
So we have the keys here. And what else? So we charge the Stripe and then we need to log in that transaction into our database, but we will do it a little later. Actually, for now, let's let's skip this step altogether and we have to assign the course after after the successful uh, successful request, successful, successful charge. So in course, let's put in a hidden variable. Course ID value. Course ID. And then, uh, do we have the table course users? Yes, we do have course user. But it's actually it's actually for creating the course for teachers. So we should should create a table course students. Um, okay, let's get back to our terminal. Make model course student. From what I remember, migration no controller. Actually, no, we don't need. Okay, we're good. So we have course students table. Migration here, course students, and course users should be courses, course users. So basically, we copy that here. Course students, actually, let's, let's make it a pivot table. So course student. And course ID, user ID, and the same thing. Let's delete the names which were randomly generated by Quick Admin Panel. Right, so we're good here. And drop if exists course student. Okay, so we have a migration. And actually, we don't need a model here because we, we will uh, put a many to many relationship. So course student would delete that. Um, and course model, where is that? We put uh, belongs to many with uh, teachers and then students. Students belongs to many user, course student. And in this case, then we can uh, find a course. Find request get course ID. Um, actually, let's put it here so maybe the course isn't found. So find a fail before charge. Then we charge, and then if the charge is successful, so no exception thrown, we do course students. From what I remember, attach and we pass off ID here. There's an array. Actually, I don't, I don't think we need an array here. And we direct back with with success, or we direct back. Should we direct to um, to to the course page? And we need to take care of a few more things here. So first, we need to add slash here, which I've done already behind the scenes and then uh, we need to launch artisan migrate for the new table should be courses students and then let's try to buy the course we refresh the page we buy the course for testing data I will use my email and then testing stripe data is 424242 everything and any date in the future and any CVC. We click pay, we have successful payment and it should redirect back to the course. Let's see if it happens. Yes, it's redirecting back. Uh, still button is present, we will take care of that soon and let's check our database. Course student and yay, we have a course 5 and student ID 4 which actually means that I've, I've bought the course. And I think that's enough for this lesson. I see I'm already behind 15 minutes, which is untypical. Uh, I will continue in the next video with actually giving the access to the course. So now we have uh, an entry of user actually purchased the course. 
Then we'll take care of the access and we'll hide that button by course because it's irrelevant anymore and we will take care of the links here and free lessons here. So see you in the next videos of creating LMS with Laravel 5.4.